We do watch the loop current. You probably have heard us talk about it anytime there is a storm in the Gulf. It's important to know though that the loop current, um, there's a lot more to hurricane season than the loop current. The loop current isn't uh, a specific indicator on how maybe busy the season will get. Here's what you got to have. Yes, you got to have the warm waters. That's what the loop current supplies. And guess what? The Gulf is hot every single year. But more importantly, you got to have low wind shear. You've got to have no dry air. You've got to have a lot of moist air for a hurricane to really thrive. And if you get all three of these, you get a significant hurricane. Hurricane Ida had all three of these. Hurricane Katrina had all three of these. Now, storms can move over the loop current and not be anything. You might remember Marco a couple of years ago. Remember, we had two storms coming at the same time. Marco was the first one. It moved right over the loop current. It was barely a tropical storm. So you've got to have other things. Now, the loop current this year, it is running a little bit further to the north. We'll keep an eye on it. It doesn't mean a hurricane is going to form because of the loop current, but if a storm were to go over it, it just has that extra fuel and you can actually see the little loop here. That is it. You see this loop over here. That's what's left over from last year's loop. So it'll break off, drift to the west, and that just repeats every single year. So the Gulf, it's always hot. It always has fuel. Sometimes it just has a little bit extra. So we keep an eye on that.